Ghosts in Wedding Gowns 1830 In a small town in Ohio, there lived a young girl named Esther Hale who lived in a small cottage near Hambleton Mill. Esther fell in love with a man from her town and became engaged to him. Esther waited for her future husband at the altar for a long time, but he did not come. After hours of waiting, the audience left, realizing that the groom had fled, leaving his bride alone and sad at the altar. Even when someone was trying to help her, she was attacking him brutally and ferociously, until they thought that the devil had possessed her. After a few days, some people saw Esther entering the mill. Despite the passage of many years since her death, some claim that her ghost inhabits the mill until now and appears on the bridge near it on the anniversary of her wedding day. Her youth is to turn the girl into an old woman, so her groom leaves her. A young man moved to an apartment on the 10th floor and everything was going well in it until he began to get annoyed by the loud sounds coming from the apartment above his apartment. He called the owner of the building and asked him to ask the residents of the apartment on the floor the 11th as to stop disturbing him with their music and dancing all night long, but the owner of the building told him that the apartment was empty because its occupant had died some time ago, and he interpreted the sounds as the mice that were messing with the things left by the occupant. Indeed, the apartment is deserted, and the dust covers everything, and this is evidence that no one has entered the apartment for a while. On the wall, he saw a large and old picture of a bride wearing a dress dating back to the 20s of the last century. The owner of the building told him that it was a picture of the woman who lived in the apartment. Her husband died a few days after their marriage, but she did not marry after him, and most likely she went crazy because she used to wear her wedding dress every night and kept dancing with it all night. The neighbors saw her doing this every day throughout the years that she lived here. As he slept, he felt fingers pass through his locks of hair, and a voice whispered in his ear, don't be afraid, it's mice messing with your hair. The young man opened his eyes to find the bride in the picture. She smiled at him and then disappeared. A girl from a rich family in New York refused to marry all the rich young men who proposed. She got engaged and preferred to marry her family's poor old servant. Her family refused this marriage, but the girl insisted on her position until the family relented, and her father gave her a large amount of money and stipulated that she leave New York and never return. Indeed, the girl left with her poor old husband, who she discovered was he was greedy for her wealth, so after a few days he took her money and spent it here and there, and they had nothing left, in order to buy a house with it, so they lived in a mean hostel in one of the cities. One day the couple quarreled, so the husband left the room and left it behind, and never came back. Days later, the hotel maid went up to check on her because she had not gone out for days. The worker was shocked when she saw the room turned upside down as if a hurricane hit her and the lady was not there, but before the worker left the room, she noticed a strange smell emanating from the bathroom. She hurried there to find the ugliest scene she had ever seen. The police also came and the fingers were pointing at the husband who had not been found, and her family preferred to conceal the crime to avoid the scandal. Days after the discovery of the crime, the guests complained of a foul smell in the hotel's discotheque, when the cleaners searched the place to find the head of a blonde-haired woman with wide eyes. And the head had already begun to rot, and it turned out to be the head of the victim who was killed a few days ago. The bride was buried in a poor grave because of her family's lack of interest. After days, strange events began. The night shift employee was sitting reading a book when he heard a noise coming from the stairs, so he went to investigate the matter. When he saw a glowing lady in a wedding dress, she was going up the stairs, and she was carrying something in her hand. The guard thought that it was a head with blonde hair. He watched her as she floated on the air from the stairs to the corridor until she reached the room where the crime occurred a few days ago, then she disappeared. Since that night, he saw the ghost of the bride. The miserable large number of people were walking around carrying her severed head. Dash.